it's Mini. In today's video, I'll be making this summer nail art with a cat wearing sunglasses. And yes, my nails are short because I broke one of them about a week ago. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to start with a peel off base coat. Then apply two coats of white nail polish on all nails. Let's start with this simple stripe and bow design. Place a drip of your favorite color polish onto a piece of cooking foil. Using a nail art brush, I'm going to draw three lines, starting in the middle of the nail, and then draw a line on either side. For the bow, I chose my favorite blue polish. Draw a triangle shape on either side of the middle line. Apply a drip of top coat and then place a gold stud to complete. Next, I'll be making a similar design but with some polka dots. Dip a dotting tool into a drip of nail polish, then draw a few polka dots. You can bounce the dotting tool gently to increase the size of the dot. For the areas close to the skin, use a smaller dotting tool or a toothpick. Paint the pose in the same way as the previous design. Instead of using gold studs, you can use a gold nail polish in the middle of the pose. Next design is this cat wearing a gold sunglasses. Using black acrylic paint, I'm going to start painting the nose and mouth and then a circle on either side. Connect the circles with a small bridge, then draw the ears. I'm going to apply a matte top coat to seal the design for the sunglasses, I'm going to apply a nail foil glue around the circles and the bridge part. Once the glue is dry, I'm going to place this gold transfer foil on top. To make sure the foil sticks, rub with your finger or one of these silicone tools. Remove the foil and ta-da! Draw a shine onto the lenses. Apply a glossy top coat onto the sunglasses using a dotting tool. Paint the bird to complete. On my thumb, I have painted a relaxing cat floating in the water which turned into a nail animation. If you are interested, this is how I made it. Using black acrylic paint, draw the cat, his floating tube and the water. When that's done, take a photo of the design. Now I'm going to erase some parts of the design, then draw the missing parts again but differently from the previous design. Now take a photo of this design. I just repeat these steps over and over to get enough frames and put them into a slideshow like a flipbook. For the glow-in-the-dark effect at the end, I have mixed some glow-in-the-dark powders into a clear gel polish and applied on top. And for the starry sky, I have scattered some of these glow-in-the-dark sand. Well, this is how I spent my weekend and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.